well, what we're going to talk about is how to find radians. Um, radians are a measurement in where you take a circle, and like a normal circle, we're going to be trying to find an angle. Now, with the angle, um, normally we start is for right here. Um, we would have a um, angle of 360 degrees. So what we're going to do is if we go around, all right, we always start at the all right terminal side right here. Um, this would be what we could say zero degrees, and then we go all around the circle. And we have is 360 degrees. Now, 360 degrees is what we call a degree. Uh, degrees are not a very precise measure of an angle. All right, they're based on a Babylonian um, degree measure of 60s, and what we have is 360 degrees, and that's what we call a whole entire circle. Now, radians is a more exact measure, and what it does is actually it takes a circle and breaks it into um, sectors, all right, or actually arc lengths, I should say. So what a radian does is it tries to say, okay, if we have all right, a circle and basically um, create a ratio, is that a radian, all right, is all right, a radians is calculating the length around the whole circle. Now to do that, we're going to pick a length, and what we're going to use is what's referred to as a a unit circle. All right, a unit circle. Now a unit circle has a radius of one, right? A radius of one. So that means from here to here, we're going to have a radius of uno. Okay. Now with that, if we have a radius of one, which is referred to as a unit circle, we can figure out what is this entire length around the circle. So if we look at this, <coughs> um, this is actually going to equal our circumference. So length around the entire circle. All right, um, the length of a circle is a circumference. And what we have then is what we're going to do is we're going to find the circumference by finding um, 2 times the radius times pi, or diameter times pi, and that's how we can find circumference. Well, since we're going to start with a radian, a radian is going to be a simple unit measure. And so we're going to say the simplest of the unit threads is when r equals 1, we would know the circumference or the length around the circle is going to equal 2 times 1 times pi. And so it's going to equal 2 pi. So the length from here all the way around to here is going to equal 2 pi. That's the circumference of the circle. Well, that actually is what's known as a radian. 360 degrees is actually equivalent to what we refer to as 2 pi radians. 2 pi radians. So what also that means is this. If we would take this and we'd say, okay, what is 180 degrees? Well, essentially, we're going to be finding a radian is actually this arc length around here. So we would go right there. So 180 degrees, which is half. All right, of the semicircle, all right, because this is going to be 180 degrees. 180 degrees would be the length of this arc, all right, of this unit circle. So 180 degrees is half of a 360, so it's going to be half of 2 pi, which would just give us pi, pi radians. If we wanted to go and say what is 90 degrees, okay, so 90 degrees would be right here, we'd say that would be 90 degrees. Well, 90 degrees is actually, all right, one half of 180. So we would say that would be pi over two radians. And that's what we got. So essentially, all right, we can see that whenever you want to figure out and convert a radian in degree, it's actually a proportion or a fraction of whatever 360 is, which equals equals 2 pi, which 100 equals pi, and 90 equals pi over 2. The key thing I always try to remember is this, is that 180 degrees equals pi, or pi radians, actually. So whenever we want to convert a radian to degree or a degree into radians, we can actually just think of this proportion. Pi is to 180 degrees, all right, so pi radians is equal to 180 degrees as, all right, whatever angle and degrees we have, all right, is to whatever angle we have in radians. 
and that's the secret. So if I want to convert, let's just say um, 30 degrees into radians, okay, so convert that to radians, we can use this little proportion. Well, I know pi is equal to 180, all right, and I want to figure out what the radian angle measurement is. So I'll just put radian right here, so that's what I'm trying to figure out. And I guess we're going to put the 30 degrees right here. And we still get our proportion. And so now to solve this, I'm just going to cross multiply. And I just want to get the radians by myself. So a radian is going to equal, all right, 30 divided by 180 times pi. And we can simplify that too. All right, there it goes in here. It's going to be 1 over 6. All right, is going to be our radians. And that's what we have. So 30 degrees is equal to, all right, pi over 6 radians. Which totally makes sense because 60 degrees, or actually, say, oops, not 60 degrees, 30 degrees, I should go like that, all right, 30 degrees, all right, that right there is going to equal, if you use a unit circle, from here to here, this arc length is going to be, well, one sixth of pi. And that's the length of the unit circle, and that's how we find our radians. And that's how we do it for all of them. And that means that, well, how do I figure out what one radian is? Well, if I had one radian, and I want to figure out what that is in degrees, so let's just go one radian, and I want to convert that into degrees. Well, we would do the same kind of conversion. I'm going to get a different color. All right. So that would mean pi is the 180. All right. I have one radian. It's going to equal whatever I have in degrees. All right. Now I'm going to do a little cross multiplication here. All right. So there and there. So we have 180. Okay. I have divide by pi. And that's going to equal in degrees. All right. And so what we have there, well, a degree is equal to 180 divided by, all right, pi. So one radian would equal, all right, probably need a little calculator for here, but 180, <laughs> 180 divided by pi degrees, that is what's equivalent to one radian. And that's how we do our conversions. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so kind of recap what we have here. What is a radian? Well, a radian is essentially is the arc length of a unit circle. If you're wondering what a unit circle is, it's basically a circle with a radius of 1. So if we have 360 degrees, we know that a radian would be, well, all right, going all around the circle, would be the circumference, which is 2 pi. 180 degrees is half of 360, so that would be half of 2 pi, which would be pi. 90 degrees would be half of 180, which would be pi over 2. And we could keep on going down the line if we wanted to in all these different values. So from there, we can actually set up a proportion where pi is 180 if we want to do that. Or we can go 2 pi is 360, which is going to equal all right, a degree or angle radian over it, angle degree. And we can set up a proportion and solve. So I hope this helps you out on how to identify how to find radians and how to convert them from degrees to radians and so on and so forth. Um, so good luck. And God bless, and just remember, pi radians is always equal to 180. Pi is equal to 180 degrees. All right. Well, good luck, and God bless, and the rest of your problems.